meet 22 year old Fanindra Kumar since childhood this young man has dreamt of serving the nation today he is proud of the fact that being an smt member at dr reddy's allows him to do something not only for india but the entire world fanindra is one among the many youngsters from semi urban and rural india who have made it their life's mission to make medicines across the globe the smt way of work at dr reddy's is inspired by one of our values the value of respect for the individual this value is what resonates very strongly with the smt way of work at dr reddy's smt is a system which allows individuals to grow whatever their job may be horizontally or vertically it also helps them work in a hierarchy less organization it empowers them it also builds their skills picture an organization with minimal levels of hierarchy where communication flow is smooth decision making process is participative and information is shared freely a self managed team is a group of empowered self managed and committed members who plan organize and manage all day to day activities uh, while is uh, it'll be major change in our in our shop floor in terms of culture and the way of working i think the most important outcome of this entire journey would be to improve the level of self confidence in people the level of self esteem in people so we are excited about it look forward to it at dr reddy's the smt way was introduced for the first time at a small unit in the town of yanam a new manufacturing unit was being set up for the formulations business and the senior management was keen to introduce a new way of functioning i think the benefit that we got out of the implementation of smt in yanam and later in vaddi were immense the productivity definitely was something much higher than what we experienced before from any of our existing plant and since we were the first from the pharmaceutical industry to try out this initiative it created a benchmark the smt journey in ctos began in october 2011 when a batch of 46 trainees joined at greenfield stage in cto sez in srikakulam We have seen many milestones since. Presently, we have over 700 SMT members across CTOs, and this is a growing community. The team members who we have been taken are new to the industry, new to the job, and the location in which they were posted is new as well. They are quick learners, and they are performing their tasks with uh, precision and with minimum supervision. And we see SMTs as future of this site. this entire uh, ten pillar uh, framework is actually around four basic principles uh, shared purpose it is important that employees have the same vision what uh, the senior management team is having in their mind learning organization he needs to have a continuous learning process um, uh, therefore uh, an employee having ability to learn and the organization providing opportunity to learn is the key pillar or key milestone egalitarianism in our company we we treat everybody equal and there is no you know designation or a title status though there are titles and designation but uh, that is for the purpose of organizing work empowerment empowerment comes from the um, element of how much uh, knowledge how much education how much tools and techniques and how much training is being provided and then once this uh, knowledge is being created then you enable employee uh, to take charge the pillars of smt a new organization structure involved just three layers in the hierarchy the plant manager the hand holding team hht and the smt The HHT or hand holding team is a small group of people 
each member heading a critical functional area who act as guides rather than as typical bosses. Self-managed team, SMT, is a wonderful thought process which has transformed into the reality at SEJs. In the last six months of their working here, we have seen a tremendous change in the kind of uh, knowledge they have, uh, kind of maturity they show at shop floor. A scientific selection process was devised consisting of a series of tests, written, psychodiagnostic and neuromuscular, a group discussion and finally a personal interview. Various factors like educational performance, family background and overall personality were considered along with the results of the tests. The recruitment process was followed by a carefully designed induction and training module that is part of the continuous learning pillar. The training was designed by the HHT and delivered by an external institute. It covered concepts of pharmaceutical manufacturing as well as softer skills. Continuous learning is an important pillar for the SMT philosophy. People capabilities need to keep pace with ever-evolving technologies and new products. We have therefore rolled out a variety of programs to cater to different sections of employees. Continuous education is a right of all the employees. In that regard, we have made different levels of technical training programs for different levels. It starts with entry-level higher education program to a certification program by Indian Institute of Chemical Engineer Hyderabad Regional Chapter and followed by a BS program for our managers which we have tied up with Bits Pilani which is a virtual program. Similarly, we have a lot of other programs including the Fireman program for our workmen. SMT implementation is a very integral part of CTO operational transformation in which people pillar is one of the blocks. In that people pillar, we have said higher education is very critical for development, all round development of all the SMTs. When we say SMTs, all categories of employees working in the shop floor fall under the category. I have a lot of learnings in this organization. Now I am working in PB12 documentation team and I have prepared a lot of documents like BPS, validation protocols, reports which helps organization facing toughest artists like PSFDA, TEVA, etc. Community living is designed in a way that the company participates only to the extent of providing a common place to live. This system gives them a sense of independence with an element of conscientiousness. The SMT members follow a meticulous lifestyle which includes yoga, games, study hours, etc. To ensure smooth communication between the teams, every shift begins with a 10-minute shift assembly meeting or SAM. The outgoing shift team updates the incoming team with the key happenings of the previous shift. This is followed by safety pledge, idea sharing and performance dialogues. From communication boards that share information to frequent communication meets, all means of disseminating information and sharing ideas have been put in place. The plant manager conducts monthly meetings to share information on the overall performance of the company as well as their own plant. The communication meet ends with an open house. The SMT scorecard creates an open and transparent system through which the members can clearly understand their performance targets and reflect on the results. The scorecard captures important attributes like safety, quality, delivery and health. Uh, we have started the journey of uh, SMT almost a year ago. And, uh, basic idea of, of uh, implementing the SMT philosophy was to have a highly empowered and uh, multi-skilled uh, workforce on the shop floor. Uh, we started with the idea of introducing SMT in uh, clean rooms and uh, slowly we have uh, enhanced the scope and uh, we introduced in uh, all production areas and core operation areas. Our vision for uh, 
next uh, two years is to have a uh, highly skilled uh, workforce on the shop floor. I find a lot of energy in the team members and our focus is to channelize these energy into various fields. At SEZ, the team members have been working with all the departments for the last two years. I am particularly proud of their role in commissioning of new technology at SEZ like automation with the eBPR and CIP kit. I am happy to share that our production area 3 is completed based on an SMT way of working with around 120 team members. Life as a SMT member is not only about work. These youngsters know how to have fun too. Celebrations are a regular part of their lives. The core team involved in designing the SMT way has put together a special mechanism to recognize and celebrate extraordinary effort. The SMT story has not been limited to new employees. We have taken some steps towards including existing employees into the philosophy. We have decided that in one of the clean rooms going to be implemented as a trial. After that, we have discussed with team members and selected 40 members of employees. Then we have sent to a technical training program at CBIT. In HPA, all the people are old, from, they are working from last 4 to 5 years and how they will take the SMT concept and how they will work with this uh, new concept. When I heard uh, about the SMT concept for the first time, we had our apprehensions. API sector is not a mechanical industry. We have realized that it is more of an attitude to change. Uh, it is nothing to do with the kind of industry we play in. It is nothing to do with the kind of environment we play in. There is great enthusiasm on the shop floor as these teams handle operations in their old workplace with a new way of working. Skill-based progression system, SBPS, is designed to promote multi-skilling, thereby improving their performance and creating flexibility. It in a way helps uh, both the organization and the team in complementary way. So the people who form a part of this team uh, on one side achieve multi-skill, uh, move from one level, one area to another, also get uh, their professional graduation uh, and are trained. And on the other hand, the organization has a continuity of people. Manufacturing excellence, it has got three components. The first one is infrastructure. The second one is people and the third one is the processes. The second and the most important part of this is people. And when we look at the mechanism to manage the complexity dimension of the people, the first thing that comes out is how do we essentially manage the people's ambitions, the people's progression. And the best model which uses this is a self-managed team model. Let me use this opportunity to explain to you what we have been seeing as the distinct benefits, not for the company, but for the people who become a part of the self-managed teams. Two important investments in your capability development. One, a formal degree, and two, a full-time opportunity to develop multiple skills, not just one, linked to your career progression are two big capability development investments the company will do for all people who choose SMT way of working. I would like to share an interesting thing about this SMT way. If you see the way we started our career way back in 2002 uh, is from an operator level where I started my career as a packing machine operator and today I am a manager. And this whole transition over a period of uh, 12 to uh, 10 years has happened because of the exposure what we got in the initial uh, period of uh, 5 to 6 years where we worked as SMT members. The most interesting fact is that other than like a traditional way of uh, growing where you start a career in one of the functions and grow in the same function, this enables you to learn multiple functions. So it is a tough journey. I say that it is not a simple journey, it is a very tough journey because you have to work, you have to learn and you have to earn. So it is a uh, three dimensional thing which you have to uh, balance each and every side so that you will be given as a better professional. <laughs> Hello, 
మా ఊరి నుంచి ఇక్కడికి హైదరాబాద్ వచ్చాము నేను ఎంతగానో చదివించాలనుకున్నప్పుడు కూడా చదివించాలనుకున్నప్పుడు మా ఆర్థిక పరిస్థితి మరి చదువుని ఎవరికి నడిపించలేదు కానీ మరి రెడ్డిస్ వారి దయ వలన మరి మా పాపకి చదువులోకి చదువుకి ముందుకు వెళ్ళడానికి ఎంతగానో వారు సహాయం చేశారు దాంతో పాటు ఆర్థిక పరంగా కూడా పాప ద్వారా మేము ఎంతగానో నీళ్ళు పొందుతున్నాం మరి ఇలా చేస్తున్న రెడ్డిస్ వారికి చాలా మేము రుణపడి ఉన్నాం is that our SMT way of work is not just a way of trying to get some uh, people employed. It's a way of contributing to the personal transformation, change and capability development of people. A lot of people who have joined us in the past, if you see them today, you cannot recognize them. Today, 2-3 years into the company, they are not just being better employees, they are being better people. Their families are proud of them. Their society is proud of them. When they go back to their village, they hold their head high because they have changed as people. And we at Dr. Reddy's are committed in that change. It is my dream that every location in Dr. Reddy's will follow the SMT way. We are on the way to implement this, not only in all our new locations, but also all our existing plants. We will convert every location where it's relevant to use the SMT method of working. I'm very excited about this. I'm Balaji. I'm Kevin Kumar Reddy. I'm Sirisha. This is Anusha. Myself, Keetan Shalim. I am Seo Krishna. I am Abhinav from Nalwanda district. This is Pranavi. I am Datta Dring from Adilabad. My name is Srinivas. My name is Koteswara. My name is Shankar. Myself, Rahim Pasha Sheikh. This is Nandukumar. I am Chinnatalli. We are proud to be members of Dr. Reddy's Health Management Team.